Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso, and we've got something very, very, very exciting when it comes to Pride Month happening in Johannesburg. That's right. We love it when we get to connect with Kukle live. And the 15th Feather Awards is around the corner, and Kukle is standing by to give us all of the details we need as we celebrate Pride Month. Thank you, Carl and Zoe. We are back live in Johannesburg. Our guest right now is no stranger to the limelight. He is an entrepreneur and the founder of the Feather Awards. We are about to get into all things Pride and the upcoming 15th Feather Awards. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody, welcome to the Expresso stage. Tommy Dish. Woo -woo. This is where you're supposed to clap, you know? Exactly. The people in Cape Town would be going like that. We need an audience. I man. mean, like, I just bumped into Shudu. Yes. She should be clapping for me right now. <laughs> She's busy in makeup. We're oh, going to chat to Shudu okay, okay, in just okay, a bit. Okay, Tammy, okay. good morning. Yeah. Happy Pride Month. Thank you. Happy Pride Month to you, too. Thank you. I have a question, right? Yeah. We celebrate Pride here in South Africa in October. Yeah. Right? Why is it different from the rest of the world? Well, because people like uh, Simon Goli, uh, Bev Dietzi, Pumim Teto decided at some point. Um, uh, with GLOW, which was a, a, a movement uh, that came out of uh, VITS, um, that they wanted to start their first Pride in, on the 13th of October in 1990. So 33 years in, wow. we, we celebrate Pride um, in October because it's such a significant thing. But also, I mean, we, South Africa, and we the hope of the continent, and um, we're, we should be actually celebrating Pride 365 yes. days a year. Um, internationally, of course, it's June because that's when, you know, Stonewall happened mm. and that's when they celebrate their stuff. But we found ways to move it around. Certain countries mm. um, celebrated at different points and different times of the year. That is <clears> truly yeah. significant. Why do you think it's important for everyone to participate and celebrate Pride Month? Why do I think it's important? Mm. Because I think that um, inclusivity is important. I think that uh, visibility is important. Mm. I think that uh, the protection of humans um, is important. Um, but also, I think that um, people should just like support queer people yes. and uh, support them financially yes. and support all queer businesses. Um, but yeah, I think it's, it's really just to, to say we're here, we're queer, and we're not going anywhere. I mean, you've seen everything else that's been happening across the continent. Um, there are quite a couple of pushbacks. Um, we keep dealing with refugees that are you know, coming to the country because we're a safe space. And um, you know, there are people out there who continue to fund hate. So mm. pride must happen so that we can show them that we will find ways to fund love. Absolutely, yeah. and one way of celebrating Pride Month, right, yeah. is the Feather Awards, I believe. Take us well, back to 15 <clears throat> years ago. Oh my I love God. the story, yes. Duh. <laughs> How the Feather Awards started, Tom. At Groove. <laughs> <laughs> they started at Groove, no, but uh, honestly, like on the corridors of the ACBC, mm -hmm. um, they used to be like an award show. I started partying like very early <laughs> in, in my life. Um, the, I, I attended like the Duga Duga Awards, and then when those got canned, uh, Joe and I decided we need to do something and start an award ceremony for queer people. Mm. At that point, it was just for us to spark dialogue between people talking about what is this LGBTQIA plus um, award ceremony. And um, we successfully managed to get people, you know, the buzz. I remember our first uh, um, part of our, our nominees, we, we nominated uh, Julius. Mm. Uh, as drama queen of the year, yes. like in our first year, and he was the first person to say, I'm not a drama queen, and all those things. And literally in two days, everybody knew mm. what feathers were, and they were interested in finding out more about it. So um, over years, we've grown. We, we run workshops, um, we run dialogues, we, we run intervention programs mm. for communities, uh, we do a lot of sensitization training, we're in transformation spaces. Uh, both in the public and the private sector. Mm. Um, uh, we've also done like many things. I mean, through Feathers and the Tommy Dish Foundation, mm. I mean, like this entire Pride Month has been incredibly amazing. Um, we've got a, a show starting tonight Ooh. at the Market Theatre House of Pink, um, Volume Three. Um, we've we've we we've, we've part of a soccer team, uh, Tommy Dish Football Club for Putti's uh, Legacy Games. Mm. Uh, there's Pride 
um, on Saturday happening. There have been like a series of things. So it's a Pride has happened. So there's just a bunch of a lot of things um, that are happening to celebrate just mm. who we are. So it's a very big weekend yes. um, leading up to the Feather Awards that are happening on the 9th of November at the Market Theatre. You know what? I think you are so incredible, Tammy, and so impressive. You think? I know. Because you were only 23 when the Feather Awards started. After 15 years, what are some of the challenges do you think you've had, well, have you had to overcome? Because yeah. it wasn't easy. I mean, I think I, I still go through the same challenge I did when I was 21, mm. trying to find funding mm. for, for Feathers. Mm. Um, a lot of people come into the platform because they think it's sexy and it's stunning and it's beautiful and it's this big glitz and glamour kind of event mm. but they don't know the the work that goes in you know throughout the entire year mm. it's a whole year long process and we're still continuing to do stuff um the challenges is always funding and i think it's a bigger conversation it's not really about just the feathers it's really about supporting queer people across um economically and also making sure that there's enough funds set aside for us to be able to action mm. and to execute some of the programs that we need to mm. um, run throughout the year. So, yeah, those have been the challenges. I mean, other than that, it, it's people who, you know, people will always say, no, I don't think that one should be in that category. <laughs> I don't think that one should be there. Why are they there? They're not queer, you know, and our job is not to literally out people mm. um, and to be, a, you know, to exclude people from, mm. from the process. We're inclusive. And, um, and we've created that space for it. I, I, so, yeah. I absolutely love that. Now, what can we expect from the upcoming 15th annual? Oh. Woo! Woo! First of all, yes. um, we're honoring our, our Simon Goli recipient this year is King Ta, mm. Tani Somazwai. Oh. Yes, so she's going to be on stage. You're yes. expecting Zoe Mudicha, Langa Mavuso, um, um, uh, Bushe Bendalo, mm. Zama Jobe Mune, Tandi Nduli, Mix Blouse, Chaya, um, uh, Mr. All of it. I mean, we're talking, it's, it's, it's going to be like, it's a show. We always mm. put on a show, um, you know, thankfully to our sponsors who continue to support us. So shout out to them. And um, yeah, we, we're having a great one. Mm. It's our 15th year. Yes, that's and big. It's also our last year that we're having it as a private function okay. because people have been complaining mm -hmm. so we are mm -hmm. going to open it up for people to actually participate and buy tickets i think that there are more queer people being birthed on a daily basis <laughs> and they need recognition and they need space yes Tammy, thank you so, so much. It's the 15th. Yeah. Number 15 is big. Well yeah. done to you and your team. And I'm pretty sure you are going to pull it off. Thank you for joining us. Ah, thank you for having me. Ah. Where's the egg? Ah, I, where is the egg? And the bacon. Okay. Okay, we're done. So I'm going to just now, okay? The 15th <laughs> Annual Feather Awards, upcoming on the 9th of November at the Johannesburg Theatre. We are going to be missing out because that's not my tiki wing, No, you're wing, coming, match, you're coming. You're okay. not coming. Do not go anywhere because we are still coming to you live from Johannesburg. About to speak to Miss South Africa 2020, Shudu, shortly. Don't go anywhere.